Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days. So, being recorded on the 15th, so the 15th through the 22nd. Yeah, something like that. Anyhow, but keep in mind the timing is fluid seven days from the date that you watch it, okay? So what do we have for a message today for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh, there we go. What do we got? We got four. Four cards. Goldfish. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Vase. Secret admirer. Hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So you do need some sort of assistance. You do have a secret admirer. We also have wreath, sorrow over a loss. So you may be feeling some sort of a loss. You may be experiencing a loss. This loss may be increasing your material wealth or your spiritual growth. Usually that's what loss does anyway, especially your spiritual growth. I do believe that you're in need of help, assistance, and guidance. And there's probably a secret admirer here that can help you. Perhaps. What do we have for Pisces? How many do we got? We got four again. So now we got two fours. Imagine that. Your prayers have been heard. The feelings are mutual. Drop the weight. There is something that is weighing you down, that is holding you down. When you could be free, you could be flying, right? You could be in a much better, you're being weighed down by something. Act now, think later. Don't waste time. Your prayers have been heard. The feelings are mutual. There's something that you need to drop that you are holding on to that's weighing you down. Act now, think later, okay? Act now, think later. Fours are angels, okay? Four is an angel number. So when you see 444 four, four, or anything like that, there's universal guidance, universal protection, angels, angel protection, angels are around, four is about foundations, all is well. There's some sort of universal guidance here. It's like you're being guided, right? There's angels, it's an angel number. Seven of Swords, first card out. Three of Cups, reversed. I don't know if there's been a third party situation right on top of it, that's the challenge. Parting ways, making a getaway. Seven of Swords next to the Three of Cups, reversed. Somebody is getting out of a third party situation. You know, they're parting ways from friends or a family or a relationship. They're leaving. They're taking their stuff and they're leaving. There's been some deception. There's been some lies, maybe cheating. You know, socializing, getting together, having fun, partying, or, or you know, maybe a real, I mean, there's cheating, lies, deception, whatever. Uh, but this is leaving behind a third party. It's like making a getaway. Parting ways, parting ways from friends or family, making an escape, putting plans in action. This is somebody that is very, very cunning. Two of pentacles reversed. Ten of cups in the past. Page of Swords, Moon reversed in the future, Re reality check, truths being revealed, a release of fear, something that has been hidden is being revealed, there's an unclear and difficult path ahead, you're going to be going down a new path, oh, have it. Nine of Pentacles, Emperor, King of Cups reversed, and Six of Wands. 
So six of wands is success, right? What you don't see coming is a time of reflection, taking a time out. You may be going within. You may be finding yourself going within to reflect, plan your next move, uh, do, doing some soul searching. Maybe you're going to be doing some soul searching by the end of this week or during this week. I feel like um, you've gained some sort of wisdom through some sort of experience. I feel like uh, there's been some lies, there's been some deception. Uh, it's probably going to be revealed, or the truth, somebody may even come clean. There's a message that is coming the, with the Princess of Swords. Could be somebody, this is a troublemaker, or a child, or somebody that just has something that they want to say. they got to say it. They, they're not going to hold back. They're going to say it. This is somebody that uh, is going to be making some sort of direct communication. They're going to be telling you something. I think that it has to do with um, a third party or deception or cheating or something like that. A message is coming, it may not be what, it, what you want to hear. It may bring conflict, it's gonna help you to sever ties. Somebody's gonna be severing ties. That's right underneath the drop the weight cards, like cutting yourself free. Um, down below, the focus is a two of pentacles reverse. There's an imbalance here. It's like, there's no contingency plan. There's financial loss, there's financial instability. Somebody has made a poor choice, a poor decision. They've overly committed themselves to something. Now things are very chaotic. It's hard to handle. It's hard to manage. There could be, you know, uh, it could have a fallout here. Things are maybe falling apart. There's, there's, there's some sort of... Uh, there's been some sort of indecision. Somebody's been juggling, maybe juggling two options. I feel like this is a time where a decision is going to be made, okay? Because I feel in, the, in your outside influence is the emperor, which is Aries, or it is a boss, or it's a father, or it's a husband, or it's somebody that is making a decision. And it doesn't have to be an Aries. It's somebody that is very strong. It's a strong masculine that is making a decision uh, that is best for everybody involved. This is somebody that is taking charge, okay? They're, it's, up, it's not you, okay? It's in your outside influence. Okay, so the other person, whoever you're dealing with, somebody that you are dealing with is making a decision. They are in the position to make the decision. They are in the position of authority. They are making the decision. Um, this has to do with abundance. Underneath it is the nine of pentacles. It has to do with financial security. It has to do with stability. So somebody is making a decision in regards to stability, in security, in living a good life. Right now, there's been a lot of illusion. There's been a lot of uh, something that has been hidden with the moon reverse. There's been a lot of secrets and lies. There has been. I think at one time this was happy. Um, in the past, we have the Ten of Cups. That's in the past. But this is the tens are completion. So I think we have the end of a relationship here. Um, <laughs> Princess of Swords. Page of Swords. A message is coming. You know, I feel like there's been some sort of difficulty in communication. Somebody's been having a hard time communicating the truth. I think we have somebody here that's going to say something that... It almost like it forces this to be said. It forces the truth to come out. You know what I mean? This is what may be a catalyst, you know, this page of swords may be the catalyst that forces the decision to be made, that forces the truth to be seen. We do have a reality check here um, with the moon reverse. I feel like somebody has been in a place of fear. This is a release of fear. So somebody is releasing their fear. They're walking away. They're parting ways. There's no emotional growth here. Um, they've been indecisive. Things have been all over the place. They've been struggling to make a choice. I feel like this is going to be something, it's going to be very intense. I feel like we have an intense movement here. Um, hopes and fears, King of Cups reversed. Um, that's lack of emotion, controlling, emotional uh, blackmail. Somebody is using emotional blackmail. It's, it's emotional uh, discontent, doesn't have good intentions. Uh, they use emotional blackmail to get what they want. You know, they use their tears and their sad, sad, poor, poor, me, me, me kind of mentality, victim mentality to get what they want. Um, King of Cups, reversed emotions all over the place, emotionally withdrawn. Um, mm. Somebody is hoping that they can use their emotions to gain control. They're going to try to do that. That's what they're going to try to do. They're going to use emotion. They're going to try to use emotional blackmail to 
control the situation. So somebody, that's, what, that's what's going to happen. We have somebody here that is probably not going to want to um, accept the truth, the moon reverse. They're not going to want to accept it. So they're going to use their emotions to control the situation. They're going to try to. Whew. It's going to be extremely emotional, whatever this is. I feel like this is an emotional loss. We have sorrow over a loss. But I feel like whoever, this is an unrequited love situation. I don't, I, I really feel like it is. I feel like there's been some lies. There's been some deception. I feel like truth is being revealed. Um, mm, at now, think later. It's time to take charge. You need to take charge. You need to take, you need to take control of your life. Okay, you do. Some of you, this has to do with your money as well. It feels like somebody has been abusing another person's money, another person's finances, you know? There's been fighting over money because I see like financial chaos here. But I feel like you need to focus on yourself down here and your advice is a nine of pentacles. This is about stability. It's about yourself. It's about your independence. You know, it's about who you are. Okay, so I think you really need to be focusing on yourself during this time. The Hermit would signify the same thing. We have the Two of Cups in reverse on the bottom now. This is a separation. I do feel like we are going to have a separation here. I feel like we have a couple that is not seeing eye to eye. I don't think they're on the same page. I think at one time it was happy, but I feel like, you know, we all change. It's a thing called evolution. You know, um, I feel like we have a separation here. I think it's emotional, but I think we have a masculine that is doing the right thing. The emperor takes charge. This is somebody who does the right thing for everybody involved, act, involved, acts with integrity, you know, makes a decision that is ready. This person is ready. They're ready to take ownership, right? They're ready to do whatever they have to do to be successful. And underneath it is the nine of pentacles. So this is this this masculine may be doing what they need to do to be successful. Maybe it's financially successful. Anyhow, the overall energy is the six of wands, which is the end of a battle. It's the end of a conflict. It's the end of the games. It's the end of the competition. The battle is over. It's over. It's over. Okay, that's the six of wands. The battle is over. So something is ending. And I, I feel like it has to do with a partnership. I do. Devil reversed. Now, devil reversed is breaking free. It's breaking free from a codependent, toxic situation, right? It is. We can get that to focus. Here we go. You know, it is. It's breaking free or things getting worse. This is tied to a situation that is unhealthy, that is codependent, that is toxic, which is only lust. It's only materialistic. That's all it is. It's nothing more. It may have brought an instant gratification, but it ended really fast. You know, the honeymoon ended really, really fast because it was only instant gratification, right? This is breaking free. It's severing ties. So I do believe that there is some sort of severing ties that is going to be happening. This is freedom, freedom from a, a deep, dark situation that you have been tied to. And that is the victory wreath on the victory after sorrow on the six of wands, just like we have sorrow over a loss. So you're going to be going and then now six is other journey to balance and harmony. So you're going to be traveling in a new direction. Um, you're leaving behind a battle. You're leaving behind a war. You're leaving behind a competition, right? You're, you're headed towards victory. You're headed towards peace and harmony, right? Um, this is the end of a battle. It is the end of a battle. Um, I think we have somebody here that is, is going to say something that really, well, let me clarify, that sets you free. Okay, it's right under the drop the weight card. <laughs> that is the sword. Okay, you're going to be set free from something. Okay, or you're setting yourself free. I mean, that's the sword that sets you free. That, set, that cuts you free. Being cut free from something that is unhealthy. Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is putting in effort, trying really hard. Somebody is going to be trying really hard. They're going to be putting in effort to create something.
Now, I was clarifying the page of swords. So that is to, to tell the truth, putting in effort to break free, trying really, really hard. Somebody is really going to... And eights are about change. Somebody is going to be putting in effort to be honest with, to be honest and upfront. They're going to be, they're going to be doing something. They're going to be doing something to break free, to drop this weight, to free freedom, freedom, free to break free. <coughs> Excuse me. King of Pentacles <clears throat> reversed. Now the King of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is very cunning that is very clever, that, I don't know if we have somebody here that is unstable or insecure, or they're more focused on money than they are a relationship. They're more focused, all they do is work, 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 work. And we have that next to the, to the Eight of Pentacles as well. So we have somebody here that work, 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 work. They may be doing something while they are at work, and that's what get, gets revealed. This person is not really into the relationship. They're not really into the partnership. All they focus on is their work, you know. Um, it's like, and they're doing something while they are at work. They may be communicating with somebody while they're at work or they're going somewhere while they're at work or something like that. Because there's work and then the Page of Swords is communication act now think later we may have somebody here that wasn't focused on a relationship they were only focused on work and now mm. there's ma there's material trouble here we do. We have five of pentacles. Now there's like some sort of financial struggle here. Five of pentacles clarifying that king of pentacles reverse. It's like now, I mean, there's just really focused on money. There's a lack of material success. There's money problems fighting over money. There is definitely some money problems here. You're dealing with somebody is squandering the money. They're spending all the money. They're, 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 this is a problem. They're not contributing. It's like work, 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 work. You're not giving me anything. There's no reciprocation. There's an, there's inequality here. There's somebody here that is struggling financially. You know, they're spending the money. They're wasting the money or something like that. Material trouble. Whew. Yes, sir. Drop the weight. Somebody is draining you. They're draining you. They're draining you or you're draining them. Could go vice versa. It could go vice versa if you're the cross watcher. There's money problems here. Somebody is in a relationship just for the money. That's what this is. Just for the stability of it. And if it's not the money, it's the finding, it's the stability. Like have it's the codependency. That's the devil. The devil is either materialistic, it's lust, or it's codependency. It's not love. And I don't see any love here at all. Not any. There used to be, but that's over and it probably ended a long time ago. As quickly, almost as quickly as it started because it was lust. It started, it didn't really ever turn into love. It was a codependency. It was a codependent situation. Had to have somebody to hold on to. A decision is being made. This decision is best for everybody involved. This is withdrawing emotions. It is, it's, it is. King of Cups reverse. It's, it is. It's like I got to do the right thing. It really is. Breaking free from an unhealthy codependent situation. Taking a leadership position. Acting with integrity. Doing the right thing. Game is over. The competition is over. I'm not playing anymore. Done. Parting ways. Good luck.